This is an updated version on the lecture of field of vision. Next point is the visual field indices. In the Humphrey, we have mean deviation, pattern standard deviation, and when the test is done using full threshold, we can have short-term fluctuation and corrected short-term fluctuation. In the octopus, <clears throat> we have mean deviation, loss variance, extra we have here mean sensitivity and if the patient was examined twice this is phase one examination for three, full test full points tested then repeating full test again in such a situation the short-term fluctuation and the corrected loss variance will be written here so these are the global indices and the Humphrey and the, and the octopus. I'm going to start by the mean deviation and the pattern standard deviation. Same thing, the mean deviation in octopus and loss variance in octopus. And recently, we have the square root loss variance. All these very simple to understand. What is the mean? The mean or the average, if we have some values like this, and if you want to know the mean, we add these values, divide them by the total number, and we say this is the mean. So a mean is a value aimed at representing the whole group. Now, what about the mean deviation? If this is represent the normal field, and these are the sensitivities of the different points of our patient. And we want to know how much our patient is away from the normal. So we start to check each location and see the difference. So we have differences for 5, 6, 2, 1, 2, and so on and then we want to have one value to represent the whole field then we're going to calculate the mean of all these differences and this is the mean deviation it is shown here now this is the health of patients over the time it's getting more affection the blue part the dark blue part is the normal, and the pink is the hell of the patient. As you notice here, the field is universally depressed, and as the differences increases over the time, the mean deviation will be higher and higher. So the mean deviation gives us impression about the height of the field of vision. When the mean deviation is between 6 and 12, we say that we have moderate depression of the field. Below 6, it's a mild depression. Above 12, it's a severe depression of the field. So whenever we see mean deviation, we have this appearance in our mind the height of the field as a whole, is it close to normal or markedly away from the normal? We are using the mean deviation. Normally, it is around 30 or 35. So as there is field damage, the mean deviation will start to get values minus 1, minus 2, up to minus 30 or minus 35. When our patient gets a mean deviation up to minus 14, this is fine with life. But starting from minus 14, there will be visual impairment. 
if the mean deviation is below 22, this is legal blindness. The second point is the variance and the standard deviation. Again, it's a very simple to understand. Suppose we have a group of five persons, and this is the height of the five persons. Now, we have another group, but one is quite tall and one is quite short. And then a third group, the first one is much taller and the last one is much shorter. If we calculate the mean, going to add these values, divide them by the number, then we have the mean. As you can see, the mean of height of these persons is almost 165. But if we want to know how much the others are away from the mean, we calculate the standard deviation. Let's have this group. This group has a height of 155, 160, 165, 170, 175. So what is the mean? If we add these numbers and divide them by the 5, we have a value of 165. So the first person is shorter by 10 centimeters. The second is shorter by 5. The third, no difference. The fourth is taller by five. The last is taller by 10. So the whole group, how much there is a difference? If you add all these numbers, you will end with zero because some of the values are minus, some of the values are plus, and the mean is exactly in the middle. So I'm going to cancel everything. So they thought, let's get rid of the minus sign. To get rid of the minus sign, let's square everything. So each number is squared on this uh, part of the table. Now, if we add all these numbers, we get one value. This way, they got rid of the minus sign, and they have a value. Now, this value, if we get it, we need to divide by the total number of the sample because we may have such a value with a group of five persons or 10 persons or 20 persons. So we divide the added group to the number. As we make square, we can make root to get the same result back to normal. The variance is the added number, the, the squared number divided by the total, and the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So let me repeat. Some of the values minus, some of the values plus. To get rid of the minus sign, they square everything. We add all these, divide by the number. This is the variance. As they say, we multiply, we, we square things, then we have to go back and do the square root. So square root of this is the standard deviation. So as you can see, both represent the same thing. When the variance is high, or when the standard deviation is high, this means that the group is away from the mean. In this example, the whole group is close to the mean and the standard deviation is 7. In this group, standard deviation 11.5. In this group, standard deviation is 25.7. So either if you have any value away from the rest, then the variation, the difference away from the mean will be high. This is, is done in the field of vision. So standard deviation or, or variance tell us if the group is close to the mean or if the group is away from the mean. In this example, we have changes in one location or so. 
if we calculate the standard deviation, standard deviation in Humphrey called pattern standard deviation. Or if we calculate the variance, the variance is in the octopus. So if we calculate, we'll find here the difference, the value of the standard deviation or of the variance is small. But if we have more depressed areas, its value away from the rest, then the standard deviation will be higher. And the more the difference, the standard deviation will be higher. So if we have a high standard deviation or high variance, we know that the shape of the field is not regular. So the mean deviation we discussed before give us impression about the height of the field. And now we are discussing the standard deviation or the variance. This will give us impression about the shape of the field. Is it uniform or is there some areas affected more than the other? So in the octopus, we have loss variance. And in the Humphrey, we have pattern standard deviation. If I look to these numbers, mean deviation minus 6, so the whole field is depressed, almost mild, get into moderate, starting moderate. Pattern deviation or standard deviation, pattern standard deviation is high, 8. So there are some areas more depressed than the others, and they give us here the probability of half this is quite rare to occur in the normal population. Here in this example, the mean deviation is 10, so this means that the whole field is depressed. Loss variance is around 60. If you want to change it to standard deviation, have the square root of 60. This is again is high. So simply these two numbers tell me that the field as a whole is depressed and there is localized changes in areas. In the recent printout of the software of Octopus, they stop using loss variance and they replace it with square root loss variance. So square root loss variance is nothing but the standard deviation. So mean deviation give us impression about the height. Standard deviation or loss variance or the variance give us impression about the shape. Normally, mean deviation should be low, but standard deviation should be low. And this is the figure in our mind. In this example, we have affection all over, so the mean deviation is low, abnormally low, but there is no localized changes, so these are normal. A pure diffused effect can be recognized by the mean deviation more than 2 decibel, and the loss variance is within normal, it is less than 4. If you get the square root of 4, it will be standard deviation. If you have a standard deviation, if it's less than 2, this is normal. So the normal limit of the mean deviation is 2. The normal limit of the standard deviation is 2. The normal limit of the loss variance is 4. So this example is of a pure generalized this example, we get the mean normal, but we have just localized changes, so we have abnormality here. And this both are affected. The mean, the whole field is depressed, and more area, other, some areas are more depressed than the other. Then we come to this part, the short-term fluctuation and the corrected pattern standard deviation. 
and in the octopus we have short-term fluctuation and corrected loss variance. The short-term fluctuation or the intra-test variability to be shown 10 points are re-examined twice. So the sensitivity of these 10 points are shown twice. We have different in the sensitivity of each test. Then the mean and the standard deviation of these differences is calculated. The standard deviation of these differences is the short-term fluctuation. So one location tested was 28, second test it was 18. This is repeated 10 times and the mean of these tens is, is, is written then the mean of this means and the standard deviation of this means is calculated and this is the short term fluctuation. Normally in the young the short term fluctuation is between one to one and a half decibel while in the old age it can be up to two and a half. If it's higher than three it means that either the patient is not paying attention or there is pathology affecting the sensitivity of the retina. Here we can see the short-term fluctuation because this test was done full threshold and in the octopus you can see short-term fluctuation because the test was done twice other than that you will not see it what about the corrected pattern standard deviation or the corrected loss variance it's actually the value of the pattern standard deviation readjusted depending on the fluctuation here and here also the value of the loss variance is readjusted according to the short-term fluctuation. Usually these two parameters we don't see much these days.